Welcome back. In the last video, we talked about git ref log and, and resurrecting a commit that maybe you'd blown away accidentally. In this video, I'd like to take it up a level and assume that I don't have access to the ref logs for whatever reason and still resurrect a commit that we'd blown away. So same as last time, on the right, I've got a file listener that's just going to monitor changes to my working directory on the left. And what we're gonna do here is just confirm that the right and left are both looking at the ref log. It says I don't have a git repository, so let's just go ahead and make one. And it says I don't have any commits in the master branch, so let's go ahead and make one of those. Hi, we've got the foo file, of course. Let's add foo to the index and then commit. Okay, so the ref log is being updated on the right. Now let's check out a new branch and we'll call it bar work. You can guess what the file over here is going to be called, bar. Let's add bar to the index and then commit. Now really quick, you can see that bar is in the directory. Let's go back to master and let's see. You can confirm that bar is not in the directory here. So now what I'd like to do is just go ahead and force delete bar work. Okay, so one more time, you can confirm the branch is not even there anymore. So we've got a commit that we'd like to pull back. And what we did in the previous video about the ref log was just go find the step in the ref log where we made the change, where we added the file. And then we would say git checkout head at one. And we would proceed to create a new branch and resurrect the file that way. But what I'd like to do in this case is destructively or actively remove the data that constructs the ref log. So those live in the hidden git directory uh, log subdirectory. And on the right, what you're seeing now is the git logs have been, or the git ref logs have been completely blown away. So we don't have access now. So how are we going to get the bar file back? Well, it turns out there's this obscure command called fsuck. And apologies to systems admins out there in the Unix land. Um, it's, I've heard it's pronounced fsuck or fsec or fisk or whatever. Uh, I'm calling it fsuck because the man page here is atrocious. It fsucks. Uh, it verifies the connectivity and validity of objects in the database. I mean, that's almost completely useless as far as figuring out what this command does, but it turns out that this command is extremely useful. So let's just go ahead and run git fsuck. And we'll get this thing called a dangling commit. Now, a dangling commit is a commit that is inaccessible by any branch. We have no means to get it, to get at it, but it's still somewhere in our database. Um, so we can do, <laughs> you probably guess, we can do the same thing we did in the previous video. We can just check this thing out. So let's just go grab the first couple the characters here of the SHA, get checkout. And now we get this detached head state. We've checked out this thing and the ref log is of course updating. So now what we do is check out a new branch and we'll call it save bar. Okay, and let's see the file system. And there it is. Okay, so we've resurrected bar. Let's go back to master now. And then let's just merge save bar back into master. Check the file system, and there's bar. So we've resurrected a file without using the ref logs, in fact, actively destroying the ref logs using this obscure plumbing command, uh, git fsuck. Um, so this is a useful technique. If you find yourself in hot water, you've blown away a colleague's work or something, and, uh, and you need to figure out a way to uh, somehow get at a, a commit that is not a part of any branch or a branch that used to exist but is now gone.